This episode is supported by 23andMe. There are currently 7.5 billion people alive on Earth, of which 323 million live in the United States of America. As a global powerhouse, many have an opinion on the American lifestyle, but what do the statistics say, and what would actually happen if we all lived like Americans? First off, you would be having more sex. Surveys indicate that Americans have sex 138 times per year on average, which is the second highest in the world, behind France. Porn would also be even more abundant, as 73% of the world's porn is produced in America. Americans drive 13,476 miles per year, which is the most in the world. This explains why they have the highest rates of vehicle collisions worldwide and number of meals eaten in a car. Seriously, statistics show that 20% of American meals are consumed in a vehicle. Americans eat 8 ounces of meat per day on average, which is almost double the world average. This leads to Americans killing and eating 10 billion animals annually, which is 15% of the world's total consumption. The average American also also drinks 403 Coca-Cola products per year compared to the world's average, which is 92. This all contributes to the US having the highest total caloric intake, sugar intake, and fat intake compared to all of the other 16 wealthiest countries. But consumption is similar in one category, fruit and vegetable consumption. And all of this eating contributes to trash. Americans throw out 1.6 billion pens and 220 million car tires per year. An individual American produces 729 kilograms of garbage per year of which 544 kilograms is organic waste. This means that the population of America, which is roughly 5% of the world, generates 40% of the world's waste. For most of the world, the American lifestyle would mean living longer. The US life expectancy is 82.1 years for women and 77.5 for men, but it's still only ranked 42nd in the world behind other industrialized nations like Australia and Canada. This is likely because these countries have better publicly funded healthcare. The median age in the United States is 37.9, meaning if you divided the whole population of America into two equal groups, half of the people would be younger than 37.9 and half of the people would be older. America is defined as having an aging population in that the world's median age is lower at 30.1. Niger has the lowest median age at 15.3 years old compared to Japan, where the aging population could become an issue as their median age is 46.9. The lifestyle of an American requires about 10 liters of oil per day, but some other developed countries consume even more on average like Canadians who use 10.2 liters per day, while some of the lowest consumers of oil are Bangladeshis who only use 0.1 liters per day. A direct way of measuring the impact of the world switching to an American lifestyle is using the global hectare. This measurement looks at how much land, sea, and other natural resources are needed to produce what each person consumes per year. For example, the rice they eat, the shelving unit they buy, or the clothes they wear. The average person in the world uses 2.7 global hectares per year. The highest is the lifestyle of those in Kuwait who use 8.9 global hectares annually, with the US trailing slightly behind with 6.8 global hectares per year. With the amount of CO2 released from this, studies show that we would need another half of an Earth in order to absorb it at a safe rate, although other studies suggest that these are underestimations. So you can imagine if we were all living like Americans, it would be catastrophic. In fact, we would need 4.1 Earths in order to sustain everyone living like an American. Special thanks to 23andMe for sponsoring this video. If you've ever wanted to understand your own DNA and see which regions of the world your ancestors come from or how your DNA influences physical traits and health, then check out 23andMe.com ASAP. We've tried it ourselves and found out that Greg has a lot of Neanderthal DNA while Mitch found out why he loves pizza so much. All you have to do is spit in a tube and they'll analyze your 23 pairs of chromosomes, which is where the name comes from. Again, head to 23andMe.com ASAP to learn more about about yourself now.